What up, YouTube? I've got some really cool nerd swag coming at you guys in three, two, one. What's up, YouTube? It's me again, son of Terra92, and I've got some really nice geek sneak for you guys today. We are here at a really awesome local hobby shop. We're gonna showcase a little bit of Gunpla. What I want to do right now is to kind of like show you guys. Uh, I'm here with uh, local Gundam master. Yeah, Gundam master. He is that uh, you friend of the show and longtime friend of mine from college. Okay, nice to meet you all. I know Hakim, and he is an avid Gunpla builder. I used to build some of this stuff back in the day. If you watch some of my videos, you will notice my Master Grade Ground Gundam and my Master Grade Goof in the background. That's always in the video. Uh, I'll cut to that really quick. And now back to the store. Um, today, Ainul is going to show us some of his Gundams, and we're going to take a look at all of his other masterpieces here at the hobby. To the Gundams! Squatting right now, so this kind of comes right, right. So, uh, Gunpla is a hobby that's enjoyed all over the world. It originated from Japan and it involves building plastic model kits. Plastic model kits. So, I know why don't you explain to us what is Gunpla? Gunpla is, um, comes from the word Gundam and Pla plates. Pla plates are the plastic plates from which we get the plastic Gunpla parts and then together. That is the definition of Gunpla. Yeah, I've never even heard of I didn't know what the Pla actually stand for. <laughs> That's what the Pla meant. I mean Pla. Pla I just thought it was plastic. plastic, right? Oh. Gundam plastic. So you want to take it back to history. Uh, Gunpla wasn't always plastic Pla plates. It used to be built from different materials. They used to be solid rather than what we have now. But thanks to the evolution of Gunpla, you have what we see today. And the hobby. the hobby has come a long way from back hobby then. has come a long way. Back in the day, not everybody could do Gunpla because a person of high, requires higher skill to do Gunpla. As in, they had to use a special, what we call resin kits now, you know, molded in. That's what they used to use back then. Back then they used to use glue and screws. Now, yeah, screws. Screws were classic. But nowadays, you simply buy a kit, cut it out using nail clippers, that you would have a decent gun plant to get it. Like this. Uh, I remember when I was a kid, I actually really liked Gundam for the sake of the design of the robots. But we didn't have like Gundam action figures, we only had gun plant. <laughs> so, so I bought like... Um, a model kit of a, of a sand rock and I, I treated it like an action figure I was like bending its arms all over the place and because those were the old kits right back in like uh, I think it was the 90s oh it was really yeah older gun plus were not as strong as modern day gun plus so playing it as an action figure was not the smartest thing however I would like to correct you our gun plus kind of action figure meant to be played but yeah. those are a different story. Those things are highly rare or really hard to get here locally. But you can find them. It's not impossible. It cost a lot. So there is a distinction between uh, an action figure and a gun plot. And what what's that distinction? What's that distinction? A gun plot a gun plot is something you build an action. That action figure you have it's already been built. It's already there. You can pose it do whatever you want. You know. Can you eat it? It's <laughs> made from chocolate, that we can see you. Chocolate actually. But gunpla, Kickstarter, fun that. <laughs> totally fun with that. But Gunpla is uh, more, has its own variable uses. Um, like it's, you can recreate a scene from the anime or redesign your own, or create your own Gunpla from the plastic parts. So it's Gunpla. So um, talk about uh, how do you build a Gunpla? How do you build a gun plot? Uh, how, how do you gun plot? Yeah. How do you gun plot? Well, let's start with the most basic thing. First, you get your own model kit. Second, make sure you have nail clippers or anything to cut the plastic away. And then, put it together. Read the instructions, put it together. Is that, that easy? Is that three step? Three step process. Three step process. But of course, uh, if you want to really get good at something, it's three steps and you have to keep doing it before you get something like this. And um, let's say someone wanted to get into the hobby, what would you suggest? I would suggest starting out with simple kits. There are two kinds of startings, or three kinds currently. There are the SD kits, the HG kits, and then the entry level kits. There are 
there are entry level kits, but they are much harder to find, so it's better to go for either an SD or a HD kit. You'll find them by, you'll notice them by the logo they have on their boxes. It will, state it, it will be stated there, right there, clearly, right as day, you know what, what kind of size it is. So this level of the kit, is it different from the grade? Or it varies it? from grade to grade. Well, the most common grades are HG or high grade, master grade, 1x100, one and perfect grade. Perfect grade. Perfect grade being the larger, second largest kit, kits available. Those are the ones that are as big as a human being. No, no, those things are 1x60. Okay, they're not as big as a human being. Unless, then, it's, a, unless it's a Neo Zeon. Unless it's a Neo Zeon. <laughs> But um, no, there are other great sizes. For example, mega size, 1 by 48 yeah, 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 yeah. Then we have an AG. AG is a small, like the large small size. Um, much easier to build. You don't even need tools for that. You don't even need tools. Don't even need tools. So you just snap it together. Snap it together. Oh, snap it together. All right, that's cool. Uh, so you've got some of your stuff here with us today? Yeah, I've got some of my stuff here with you. All right, we're gonna check out some of Vinyl's Gunpla, and he's gonna tell you the story behind each of these suits. All right.